Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Identity uh, in .NET Core to fetch the user details or uh, the benefits of using uh, Microsoft Identity uh, in, uh, in .NET Core. Um, uh, so basically how uh, you reach there, um, I'll have to show you a new program how you can reach there. Um, you have to make a little bit of uh, setups uh, to do that I'll, I'll show you how for example we took a new project and then um, uh, I'm using model view controller ASP.NET Core web app and uh, uh, yes uh, practice um, yeah, give a name to your project and uh, select the location folder. Okay, here I'm using .NET 6, so you might be using anyone uh, any different from this one. Uh, you don't need an HTTPS for this. Here you have to select the individual accounts. Okay, individual accounts, and then you press and uh, create, and then your project will be created. So once the project is created, you will have something like this. Uh, without a couple of things here but I will tell you what all yeah. things we did so uh, once you create it uh, with using the identity thing uh, you will have one folder like areas identity pages and yes there are a couple of pages that comes uh, that does not come up default so what you do is um, you select your project right click on it and then um, add use the new scaffolded item as this project is running so it's not showing me as highlighted but if I stop it it will show you uh, wait let me stop that so right click on the project add new scaffolded item okay so once you select the scaffolded item there is an identity option identity okay select this one and add even if you have selected identity individual user accounts from the beginning you still have to uh, use this one if you want to use the uh, provided facilities in identity so we use this one so once you press the add what you will see is uh, inside this areas identities inside the pages inside the account folder you will see a couple of pre-formatted files for you pre-formatted I mean these are the uh, this, this, these are th something that Microsoft has provided which is uh, pretty much useful for you um, it, it covers almost 90% of the things that you would be using and uh, you will see that it's a pre-designed login form a pre-designed uh, uh, registration form register confirmation reset password form so these are all pre-designed and and you will see that they it, it is it has a back-end code just like the ASP.NET we had a front-end and a back-end code so these uh, .css HTML files they have a back-end code like you do the view code and you will see there is a get and a post on get on post and on uh, uh, yeah so on get and on post and I think uh, the registration page has a different uh, a create option as well let me tell you uh, let me show you here the register one so this is the design of the register um, this div class is the side panel that comes up so let's run the program and I will show you what all things comes up when you do a registration I'm sorry guys this is making the video lengthy but then yeah we will uh, certain things you need to know about it and how we can use it okay so once I click on the register um, it shows the space so use another service to register this one is the uh, the the div that uh, is shown here in uh, line 49 div class call md set use another service you can just remove this one or you can just comment it out so it won't show up uh, let me save that and if I press the hot reload feature I guess that it will not show that one it will disable that I'm not sure okay code changes applied oh yeah perfect it works alright so that part is gone okay so that's uh, the pre format that was showing up and uh, we disabled it okay so um, yeah what happens is uh, so I was sh telling you like what that's the front-end part and then we have a back-end part if you view the code there is a back-end part 
so uh, what we did was we, we were using a feature like this one the read only role manager this one doesn't come up default okay so you have to use this thing okay and uh, this is used for role management I'm sorry I'm sorry this is used for role management this is not for user management so let's go back to our content here in the home controller I made some changes in the privacy section so that we can get the user details in our privacy we will not be using these details but I can show you that while we do a debug uh, things come up to this place and uh, it's fetching the data accordingly okay so what I added extra is one private read only user manager identity user uh, in the T and a variable and then we uh, do the dependency injection uh, we pass this uh, user manager in the uh, parameter section of the constructor and then we assign it a value so this is the line that you would be using to get the user details user manager similarly if you want a role thing then uh, you would use this role manager wherever you want in your project okay so user manager identity user this one and then initialize it and then use this feature let's see how it works so let's log in let's do a login so I have users I guess Tommy is there yes Tommy at the gmail.com then my password was Tommy one, two, three. yes okay so Tommy is now logged in so I want to use Tommy's uh, identity to show him his things like we used an uh, we used a session we need we used a cookies so that was used to fetch the details of the user we used to store that in fact uh, .NET Core is also using a cookies thing but that's internal uh, if you want to see that uh, here are the cookies okay so it's storing some uh, session and uh, values about the user here as well but anyways uh, we don't want to get into those things let's come back uh, so once I do this privacy it will give me the things here okay so the debugger hit here now my user is Tommy at the red gmail.com if I check for user ID it's null now let's pass on one by one user manager dot get user ID so now I got the user ID so this is the geo ID the uh, user ID so Tommy has this user ID you can see this okay it's giving me the user ID there I got the user ID okay now I need the user email so I did this uh, link you uh, statement for getting the users email and now I have Tommy's email you can see that okay so it probably it, it almost gets all the details here it gets the user ID it gets the users email and uh, mm, now I'm, I'm trying to get the first name yep you see it got me the first name user email dot first name <laughs> doesn't require actually user ID uh, uh, yeah I could have used the anyways uh, yeah so yeah the I took it into a variable and then I found out those things now what is this one find by name we were testing what is find by name uh, used for so find by name is giving us the user uh, the ID uh, this is not the geo ID but this is some other ID 1052 uh, I don't think I have a 1052 here I know it's picking up some internal ID that uh, is not shown in the table no that is not shown in the table mm. find by name oh, I think I used it for some testing purpose like what we fetch using the find by name but however you got the user ID here you got the user's email here you got the person's uh, first name that was uh, this one is an additional column that I used in application user first name and last name so that's giving me that uh, value but however so th this is the way that we can use the person's details so if I want to f uh, f do a join and I try to get some information what this user has used so by this way I can get the users details okay so I will get the user ID and then I can use it user ID or the user's email and then I can use it 
so pretty much that is all for the for now guys so if you wanted to know how we can use this uh, uh, identity feature to get the user details without using cookies without using a session uh, in dotnet core so this is how you can use it okay all right guys thanks for watching have a nice day